Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Spotlight, but more importantly, welcome back to another Film Geek Halloween Special, where I turn the month of October into all things spooky. Well, at least my movie spotlights. And today I'm getting things started with the 1981 film, Happy Birthday to Me. Come on guys, grow up, okay? Alfred, come sit by me. And so how's the midnight taxidermist tonight? Hey, Alfred, uh, you like? Alfred, get yeah. stuffed. Hey, <laughs> Alfred, did uh, you bring George? Sure, I brought George. Here, come on, George. Come on, come on. Say hi to George, everybody. Hi, hi George. George. Let's start the whole thing all over again. Right? Happy Birthday to Me is directed by J. Lee Thompson, and it's starring Melissa Sue Anderson, Glenn Ford, Lawrence Dane, Jack Blum, Sharon Ackner, and Richard Rebeer. Students at a very exclusive high school start missing around a fellow student's birthday. Happy Birthday to Me was produced by John Dunning and Andre Link who also produced the 1981 slasher My Bloody Valentine, which went into production one week after Happy Birthday to Me wrapped filming. However, My Bloody Valentine was rushed and was released first and able to meet the February 14th release date in time for Valentine's Day. With so many other holiday-themed slashers out by this time, Dunning and Link decided not to rush this film because they thought everyone has a birthday, so the film was relatable to a much broader audience. Director J. Lee Thompson was asked to direct the film. He was famous for directing the 1962 film Cape Fear, so he was no stranger to suspenseful films. He was also actively looking to take on a horror slash thriller film. He said in an interview about why he chose to make Happy Birthday to Me. What attracted me to this script was that the young people stood out as vivid individual characters. The difference between a good chiller and exploitative junk, at least in my opinion, is whether or not you care about the victims. Happy Birthday to Me was released May 15, 1981, and it grossed about $10.6 million on a $3.5 million budget, so the movie didn't do half bad in theaters. Now, normally I give a Rotten Tomato percentage and talk about that a little bit, I'm going to be de deleting that from my videos from now on. There's a little bit of controversy right now about the, the validity of that Rotten Tomatoes score, so I don't want to include it in my videos anymore. So what do I like about this movie? Well, first off, this film has not just a really fun slasher plot, but it is a really good and well-crafted whodunit story. The movie lets you know right out the gate, this is not a spoiler because it happens at the very beginning, Every character in this film knows who this killer is. It's a friend of this group of teenagers, and the movie does an excellent job. After it lets you know that you need to be looking for him, it does an excellent job of throwing red herrings throughout this entire film. Almost up to the very end of this movie, you are getting misdirection and redirect, and always trying to figure out who this slasher is. And let me tell you guys, when you get there, well, let's just say there's been a little bit of controversy about the ending of this film for quite some time. Now, this film also has some pretty solid kills. However, the movie isn't very gory. It does that whole thing where it gives you an idea of how this person is going to die, and then it pulls away from the the most goriest and bloodiest of moments. So the gore in this one is down to a minimum, but the creativity of the kills is definitely high, and the practical effects in this film look pretty good. There are some moments where you get to see some, well, they do the whole reveal of dead bodies thing. It gives you the whole, you know, oh my god, this is how the person's gonna die, and then it does a reveal showing you, yup. You figured it out, that's how they're gonna die. Those practical effects look really good. And also, too, a very, very vicious use of a shish kebab. And I'm not talking about just the stick, I'm talking about the whole goddamn 
damn shish kebab. Now the director of this film said that he wanted to do this movie because when he read the script, he thought that the victims and the characters in this movie were well developed and well flushed out and likable and that's what made him like this movie the most. Now guys, I'm here to tell you that's not necessarily true because the victims in this film are kind of dicks. They are assholes. You're kind of waiting for them to die. There's not really many of them that really are truly likable. I'm not saying that the characters are not well fleshed out. Actually, they are. Each one of the characters in this film, you do feel something when they die, and that is gratification. You might not go, aw, oh, damn, I'm so sorry to see that guy get his face eaten up by the motorcycle, but you sure are going, boy, I'm glad to see him go. Sadly, because they're just not likable characters. But other than that, the film is a lot of fun. The practical effects, like I said, are solid. The actual directing of this film is great. Now, I mentioned the ending being slightly controversial. That is true. There, It's kind of odd. And some people absolutely love the ending of this film. And others just feel like they just tried to do the weirdest thing possible just to kind of wrap this movie up because like I said it does have a ton of redirects and red herrings throughout the entire thing and it does affect the ending just a little bit because once you get there you're like oh wow so you have two reactions to the ending it's like oh wow or wow but other than that, like I said, really solid, fun film to check out. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this movie, so I do believe this is a good, solid, hidden gem for you to check out during the holiday season. And it's not too awful hard to find because you can find it right now, streaming for free with commercials at our good friends at Tubi TV. So guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks again for checking out the Film Geek. Welcome back to my Halloween special. And if you like what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one more thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna... <laughs>